Hi there! The waters of the world ocean are the mystery, which is only partially uncovered, and we've learned only a very tiny part. So it's hard to imagine what unbelievable creatures hide under its surface. Today, I want to show you the most unusual and bizarre marine living beings. Stay by for awesome animals and be ready to get excited! And let's start with the sea bunny. The sea slug, which is officially called Jaruna parva. It got its name because of its resemblance to the fluffy creature. But the slug, of course, doesn't have any fur that a bunny has. And what you're looking at are groups of small rods known as Carophyllidia, which cover its back. The bunny-like ears are not ears either. They're sensitive organs, rhinophores, and they help the cute slugs to identify chemicals in the water that allow them to find food and mates. But they're not as cute as you may think because they are extremely toxic. Even predators prefer to stay away from them. In other words, appearances are deceitful. In spite of the fat, this thing looks like a rock. It's a living being, actually. This is called Pyrrha chilensis, a sea creature that lives on the rocky coast of Chile and Peru. Pyrrha is non-moving, sac-like marine invertebrate. This strange thing has no limbs, no legs or claws, no eyes and no mouth, or a face of any kind. On closer look, its outer layer is composed of tunicin, a type of exoskeleton. It's made of substance, which is a kind of shell. But inside, the living rock has a layer of skin and muscle and blood. That's why the insides look red. There are a lot of shark species in the ocean, but the goblin shark is completely unique. Looking at this creature, you can guess why it got its name. The goblin shark is a real living fossil. It's the last living member of the family of sharks known as Mitsukurinidae. This shark has been around for more than 100 million years, even before the dinosaurs appeared. Goblin sharks live in the depths of the ocean, about 4,000 feet deep, somewhere near Japan. It has an extendable jaw. It extends up to the size of its snout when catching prey. The fish also uses the electricity during hunting. Goblin sharks are dangerous only for crabs and fish in spite of rather big size. This ultra-rare goblin shark was caught by gulf shrimpers near the coastline of Florida. Scientists don't know how it managed to get so far from its natural habitat. This fish is a geometrical miracle. It even got its name, a boxfish, because of its square form. This cute nice guy is rather young. Only the juveniles have a bright yellow color with black spots. It helps them to survive by telling nearby predators that they are poisonous. Yes, they are toxic. Their toxin, Ostracitoxin, works by bursting predators' red blood cells. Besides, their body frame is solid. This creature is really impressive. Just imagine, in 2006, Mercedes-Benz unveiled its bionic concept car, which had been inspired by the shape of the yellow boxfish. Looking at this amazing thing, the first thing that comes to your mind is that it's a plant. But it's really not. These creatures are called crinoids, or sea lilies. They are echinoderms. The animals that are characterized by their rough, spiny surface and five-fold symmetry like a sea star. Sea lilies can grow really big, up to 100 feet long, and can have up to 200 arms. And they can detach body parts at will. They have neither eyes nor a brain, but have a mouth and an anus located next to each other. These beauties thrived in an era 250 million years in the past. Many animals of that period disappeared, but these ones still exist. This reddish-orange mollusk lives in clusters in the caves of Indo-Pacific coral reefs. This bizarre thing creates flashing light shows. The shows are so bright that they can be seen without artificial light. That's why its common name is the Disco Clam. The flashes are created by a double layer of specialized tissues, which enable it to scatter ambient light. The tissue edge is filled on one side with nano spheres made of reflective silica, chemically similar to window glass. The clam needs these flashes of light to scare predators away. This is a garfish, which is also known as garpike or sea needle. 
The fish got their name because of their very thin body. They're an excellent eating fish found in the Northeast Atlantic and the Mediterranean seas. But the most interesting thing about them is the blue-green color of their bones. The flesh of the creature is also bluish-green. The scientists say their green skeletons are caused by a pigment called biliverdin, and it's absolutely harmless. It's hard to imagine a more unique fish than the mudskipper. The point is that it doesn't need water all the time. The mudskipper is a so-called amphibious fish. It means that it lives in water and also spends a significant amount of its time out of water. One more fascinating fact about mudskipper fish is that it can climb rocks and trees. The fish is able to survive on the solid ground during low tide. It can also breathe out of the water. To do that, it uses the gills, mucous membranes of the throat and mouth, and capillary network in the skin. The mudskipper likes to rest on its roots, rocks, and other objects located above the surface of the water. It sounds strange, but too much time under the water can actually kill a mudskipper. Sometimes these amazing fishes are kept in captivity. Look at this guy. He even eats from the man's hand. Here is one more living fossil, the nautilus. The nautilus is a cephalopod and a close relative of octopuses and squids. But its main feature is that, in appearance, they have not changed much in millions of years. Besides, nautiluses are the only cephalopods who have an external shell. The shell is divided into chambers, which are filled with gas and water. By changing the amount of gas, the nautilus regulates its buoyancy. The creatures have an extremely fascinating way of moving. They move by jet propulsion. In other words, they eject a huge amount of water through a siphon. The position of the siphon determines in which direction the nautilus will go – backwards, forwards, upwards, or downwards. They spend their days on the sea bottom but go to shallow waters when the sun goes down. In spite of such an incredible story, these things are not very rare and are often kept in aquariums. Look at this nautilus eating a delicious fish. Watch the way this fish moves. Large head hair tail can't be mixed up with any other fish because it has an extremely elongated and strongly ribbon-like compressed body, and this body construction influences its moving. The large head hair tail are usually steel blue in color, with silvery reflection, pectoral fins which are semi-transparent, and their mouth contains long, barbed teeth. On hunting, the hair tail floats vertically near the surface of the water. When a fish swims above them, they attack and catch it with their teeth. Here is one more amazing creature that floats deep underwater. If you see it once, you'll never forget it. Now, they are thought to be the inspiration for old sea serpent legends. Today, this fish is the world's longest bony fish. It can reach a length of 56 feet and weigh up to 600 pounds. The silvery giant oarfish, as it is known, is sometimes called the king of herrings because it resembles this fish greatly. In spite of its size, the giant oarfish eats tiny plankton and isn't at all dangerous. Unlike other fish, they don't have a swim bladder. Instead, they row themselves through the water with their pelvic fins. Wolffish, or sea wolves, are very widespread fish. Many of us know them from the dishes that they are prepared of but few of you know how this creature looks. And it looks horrible with those teeth. Wolffish live on the ocean floor, and it can be found in water between 250 to 1,600 feet deep. The most prominent feature of the wolffish is a horrible protruding canine teeth. That's how the animal got its name. Behind these fang-like teeth are three rows of smaller crushing teeth, with the middle row containing four pairs of molars. There are also smaller serrated teeth that sit in the fish's throat. Using these teeth and their extremely strong jaw, the wolffish crush their prey. Just look how this monster's head pokes through the Coke can. I better not ever meet this monster except on my plate. That's the end of my dozen. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments which creature you liked the most. See you!